solve the equation with grouping symbols. Here we're given the equation 1 over 8 times the difference of 3d and 2 is equal to 1 over 4 times the sum of d and 5. So the first step to solving this equation would be to distribute out the 1 eighth on the left side of the equal sign and distribute out the 1 fourth on the right side of the equal sign. So if we do that, that leaves us with 3 over 8d minus 2 over 8 is equal to 1 over 4d plus 5 over 4. So now that we're here, what we need to do is get rid of the fractions. And you can see on the left side we have two fractions with an 8 in the denominator. And on the right side of the equal sign we have two fractions with a 4 in the denominator. So we need to take care of each of those fractions one at a time. Let's start with the 8. We can get rid of the fractions with an 8 as a denominator by multiplying both sides of the equal sign by that denominator. 8 times 3 over 8d minus 2 over 8 parentheses is equal to 8 times 1 over 4d plus 5 over 4 parentheses. We're going to distribute out the 8, right? and when we multiply 8 times the fraction 3 over 8d, the 8s cancel out, leaving just 3d. When we distribute out the 8 to negative 2 over 8, we're left with negative 2, because again, the 8 cancels out with the denominator. So that's going to equal to 8 over 4d plus 40 over 4. When we distribute out the 8, it's going to be 8 times 1 over 4, which is 8 over 4d. And we distribute out the 8, it's going to be 8 times 5, which is 40 divided by 4. All right. So the next thing we can do is simplify our fractions. And we'll get 3d minus 2 is equal to 2d plus 10. Now we're at a place where we can solve for d. We need to get the terms with d on one side of the equal sign and the constants on the other side of the equal sign. So let's start with our 2d. We can move him by subtracting 2d from both sides of the equal sign. That's going to leave us with d minus 2 is equal to 10. Now we want to move the negative 2 to the other side of the equal sign. And we can do that by adding 2 to both sides of the equal sign d is equal to 12. And we've solved the problem, so I'm going to put a box around that. We have another grouping problem. We have parentheses here, and we also have brackets. So the way that we're going to solve this problem is we're first going to start with our parentheses. PEMDAS is parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So first we start with our parentheses right in here. Okay. What we want to do is distribute out the 4 first. So if we do that, we'll be left with 5 bracket 2p minus 4p. This is negative 4 times p negative 4p. Then when we distribute out the 4 times 5, it's not 4 times 5. It's negative 4 times positive 5. 
So that would leave us with negative 20 bracket is equal to 25. All right. So now what we can do is treat the brackets as if they're parentheses. And so going back to PEMDAS, our first order of operations is to deal with the parentheses. And this expression here. So let's go ahead and combine our like terms. And we'll, we will be left with 5 bracket negative 2p minus 20 bracket is equal to 25. Now that we're here and we cannot combine any like terms or simplify further, we are going to treat the brackets as if they're parentheses. And what do we do if we have a parentheses here? We're going to distribute out the 5. So it's going to be positive 5 times negative 2p. Negative 10p. 5 times negative 20 is negative 100 is equal to 25. So from here, things should start looking more familiar. We want the term with the variable on one side of the equal sign. We want the constants on the opposite side of the equal sign. And in this case, we need to move the negative 100. So let's add 100 to both sides of the equal sign. We'll be left with negative 10p negative 100 plus positive 100 is 0. 25 plus 100 is 125. To isolate the variable, we need to divide both sides of the equal sign by negative 10. Negative divided by negative is positive. 10 divided by 10 is 1. So we're left with positive p is equal to positive divided by a negative is a negative and 125 divided by 10 is 12.5 I'm going to put a box around that